Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 1312 Cherry Street here in Vernonia. We're located at the left side of the home, basically at the front left corner of it. That's the front yard up there through the fence. We have a three inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. Oh, and this clean out does not have a cap on it. It looks like it got busted off. I would recommend getting this covered so debris from the yard and stuff doesn't fall down into the pipe. Line transitions here at 24 feet over to 4 inch schedule 3034 PVC pipe. Alright, looks like the line is terminating right up here, it appears. Yeah, this does look like the main lateral. However, the uh, main lateral connection here looks like it's uh, separated away from the main. So I'm going to let the line drain out and I'll get that located. Okay, I did locate this spot. The main is just off to the side of the street, uh, 8 feet deep. That offset there is about... Oh, it's pulled apart pretty good there. It's probably allowing water to seep out into the ground. There's about an inch of offset. Pipe's all drained out at this point. Kind of a hump in the line there. Pipe still seems to be intact. Out of that. Looks like they may have uh, put the, the pipe on top of a rock or something. Okay, I went and located this spot as well. I've marked it with a white X. Uh, it's kind of between this yard and the house to the left's yard. And I'm getting it about 6 feet 5 inches deep there. Yeah, the, the pipe there is not perforated. It looks like everything's still flowing past that point just fine, but uh, it's something that could open up in the future. It's possible. It's, it's kind of hard to say, but I've marked that in the event that you can get that repaired. And I would I would check with the city. It's possible it may be their line. Sometimes um, right here at a transition like this to PVC pipe, this is often where cities take responsibility. So definitely contact them. So far we have an issue there at 40 feet and 46 feet. The only one that's affecting the line currently though is the offset joint, the main lateral connection. And it's entirely possible that's the city's responsibility, so look into it. But I'm about to reel the camera head out of the line. Apart from the offset joint, the rest of the line is still intact. Uh, at 40 feet, we do have a, it looks like the pipe is being compressed there, or was laid on top of a rock or something like that, and it's pushing up on the bottom of the pipe. Uh, but it's, it looks like it's lost maybe close to an inch in diameter there. Uh, so I would recommend getting it fixed. It's not affecting the flow at this time, and it looks like the pipe is still intact. It hasn't perforated. Uh, but it's something that could happen in the future. So I have marked that. That's at 40 feet out. Um, it's about six and a half feet deep. And then I marked the uh, offset joint right. It's in line with the manhole cover. Um, 
uh, anyway, just a few feet down from that, marked with a white X, and that's a, I'm getting it about eight feet deep there. I do recommend a uh, rescope to check the repair work, make sure it looks good when they're all done. Uh, but yeah, apart from that one joint currently at the end of the line there, the rest of the pipe is functioning at this time. Uh, but I would recommend getting that, that like, kind of hump in the line there, taking care of it 40 feet. Um, obviously, it's not affecting the flow or anything like that. This time, it's more of a, uh, a precautionary thing. Like It could get worse in the future.